for um, my mom and dad's coffee, which kids get not have. Back to our channel. My name is Gracie. This is Rachel. My yep. mother. <laughs> my daughter. And who's upstairs sleeping? And um, I have a little sister and I'm the big sister. Your um, shirt says big sister today. Did you know that? I'm I'm a big sister and and Bisky is my little sister. Yeah. So, and she's right now upstairs um napping. Correct. So we thought we would film a little grocery haul for y'all. Oh, also, this week when you are seeing this video, we are on vacation at the beach and we are documenting our vacation on our Instagram stories. So be sure you go over, you're following us there, and you're checking out all of the fun that we're having. Love you. Okay, let's start with the frozen stuff so that I can get it back in the freezer. This is, uh... These are... Curly fries. Curly fries, yes. This is another curly fries. It's not, actually these are onion rings. These are onion rings. Yeah, so like I was saying, we have some leftover burgers that we threw in the freezer after 4th of July. We just kind of bought way too many. So we thought we would make Western bacon cheeseburgers one night this week with my parents <gasps> and have curly fries. No, I didn't get meat salad. This is just regular salad. And then some kind of fruit. This is our garlic bread and we are gonna be using it for tonight. We are using it for tonight because we're gonna make lasagna soup. How do you think I I don't know. You're just a smart cookie. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff in the freezer real quick. And now these are two cucumbers. There are, did you see? Our two salads right here. Correct. So then I'm, I'm gonna be, Mom, I already showed them. I know, I was putting them to the side. You did it. Uh, the, this is our regular salad. Correct, yes. And then one night we'll have leftovers, so I did get two bags. Yes. What else do we have that's cold? What is this? This is a cheese that my parents really like. <laughs> yes, this is also going to go on the Western Bacon Cheeseburgers. This is our cheese. That is. This is mozzarella cheese uh -huh. to go... For, for for our lasagna soup. Correct, because I actually make a cheese mixture with. And then, and then this is for our broccoli that we eat. No, this dip. isn't. This isn't dip. This is ricotta cheese. This, this is, is what we put on top. Cheese. This is what we put on top of our lasagna soup. I mix it with. This is, this is what we put on on top of our lasagna soup. Right. I mix it with some mozzarella, some Parmesan cheese, which we already have, and some salt and pepper and some herbs and stuff. Mom, what? No, my favorite thing. I know. This is also for the cheeseburgers. This, this is this is for bacon with uh, our Western bacon cheeseburgers. Uh huh. Mom. Yeah. Can I please have a piece after we film? Um, not in the, the bacon. Car. No, because we gotta save it for later this week. But you can have extra when we make it in a couple days. I have ham for you though for the car. Extra. Extra. Yay. Extra, extra, read it, all about it. Also in the lasagna soup, it calls. This, this is called um, fish, and we are gonna be using it in the lasagna soup. Yes, it's not fish. It's mild Italian ground sausage. The recipe calls for ground beef, but I think it's better with Italian sausage. But I, I think so too. Can you look that up? It's pretty heavy. And then this is my ramen. My mom really likes spicy ramen. But what it's kind of ramen do you like? I like this kind. The kind, um, the kind, uh, not spicy. Because we ran out of it, so we got a new pack. Correct. This is my Anna and Elsa cheese. Mm -hmm. and, and I love it. And what else? What's and this kind? And this is hot top cheese. Oh yeah, pop top. <laughs> Frozen, oh yeah, oh yeah. You're so funny. This, and this is for um, my mom and dad's coffee, which kids get not have. <laughs> yes, ex actually this I got for your Cow sister. Milk. It this, is cow milk. This, this, is, this is cow milk, 
And it's for my sissy. Correct. I do not like gallon milk. Me either. Yogurt. Uh, this is actually um, cottage cheese with strawberries. We're on the hunt to try and find something easy for your sister to eat while we're at the beach. She is not a deli meat kind of a kid, um, and she doesn't like PB&J. She's just not a sandwich kid, which I don't really blame her. I'm not much of a sandwich person either, but that's what we make at the beach. Um, so we're trying to find an experiment with some things. So we thought this maybe she would eat, you know, it would be a good way to get some protein in her. Then this is um, oatmeal. <laughs> yes, oatmeal. Oatmeal. This is another hopeful for biscuit for lunch. I don't know. We'll see. And of course, I had to get two of each because I can't just get one for biscuit because I have to get one for you two so that you can try it as well, right? Same with the cottage cheese. We got two just for you both to try it. And this is the summer berry, the real medleys. <laughs> My mom knows that we love berries. Yes, we and this, do. And then this is our tomato sauce. It's tomato paste for our lasagna soup, and we also have some petite diced tomatoes with garlic and olive oil, and some crushed tomatoes for our lasagna soup. And this is... This is uh, croissants. Not this croissants, croutons. Croutons? These are the croutons that are gonna go in our salad. What is this? This, it's well, what do you think it is? Soup. It is for our lasagna soup. What is it? It's... Yeah. It is pasta. It's called Ditalini pasta. But it's hard because we haven't cooked it yet. Yeah, we haven't cooked it yet. Hold on, because I'm going to tell them. So lasagna soup is one of our all-time favorites. If that's a recipe you'd like to see, let us know in the comments down below. This is um, our bread for our um, sandwiches and for for our um, ham sandwiches. Actually, and this is for the, the bacon cheeseburgers we're going to make. And, and they're buns. And then, if you want to see us make this, click down below to watch us see this. Yes, if you would like to see how we make our Western bacon cheeseburgers, let us know too. These are things for our stuff. <laughs> These are things for our stuff. Indeed, they are. These are fried onions, which are going to go on top of our Western bacon cheeseburgers. I also, the onion rings that I got with the uh, curly fries that were frozen. They're going to go on our cheeseburgers, too. Yes, they might. I wasn't sure which type of onion straws or onion rings we would want to put on, so I just got options. This, this, this is our, our um... Chicken broth for our soup. It is. It is for our soup. You're right. And then, what do you think this is for? This is for. Um, it's for our Western bacon cheeseburgers. This is for our Western, for our Western bacon cheeseburgers. Yes, our Western bacon cheeseburgers. This is just sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. So it's meant for babies. It's not. It's not meant for babies. It's just the name of it. It's called Sweet Baby Ray's. That's the brand name. This grocery haul is gonna be a little bit different than the ones we've done in the past because it is not gonna be followed up with like a week's worth of recipes. But I did just want to do something fun. What about She's the been tomatoes. Oh yeah, we'll show them those. She's been wanting to get on camera and do a grocery haul, and so I thought it would just be a fun thing for us to film as we're prepping for the beach. So you can see we really only have two big meals planned because we still have some leftovers, and these will definitely make leftovers too. The lasagna soup will for sure. So I'm just trying to kind of like go through some stuff and not leave a lot of leftovers for when we're gone for a week. Is our tomatoes. These are our tomatoes. What do you think these are gonna go on? These are going on. On what? Our salad. Our salad. Yes. We have just a few things left. I needed some more laundry supplies, so in laundry supplies. Yes, these are <laughs> Arm and Hammer dryer sheets. So recently, after our housekeeper was here, she always washes the rags when she's done, and they got left in the washer for a couple of days because I just totally forgot, and so we were dealing with the mildew smell, and I finally got rid of it, and then I was doing research on ways to kind of keep it 
keep that smell away. And one of the things that I found was using powder laundry detergents. So I switched over to the Tide Free and Gentle Laundry Detergent. Um, I have always historically been really allergic to Tide, but that was before- What's Tide? Tide is that laundry detergent, but that was before everyone went like to Free and Gentle. And we've gone through a whole box of that so far and no one's had issues because she's also really allergic to detergents. Ooh. So is Kyle. Yeah, we all are. But that one's been okay. And I have to say it actually has been working well at keeping our washer smell free. So after we used up our liquid, um, what's this called, fabric softener, I just wanted to try and switch over to these. So I was kind of flying blind since I did a curbside order. I couldn't smell any of them. And they didn't just have like original downy, which is the fabric softener we use. So anyway, trying them out just to see. All right, this is really heavy. So I'm gonna lift and you're gonna tell them what it is. And this, go. This, this is our topo. What flavor? Limey. Yes, this is our lime sparkling water. And then this is our what flavor? This is our plain one. Plain one, yes. We drink a lot of sparkling water up in this household, so we gotta keep ourselves stocked. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. And if they did, give us a big thumbs up and, and click down on our channel. To? To six, subscribing our. Um, yes, to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I always love filming with my little helper. Thank you so much. You were awesome. Nice. Nice. All right. We will see you all later.